Oh, there he is. Huh? Good. We we're still we we're still doing defensive rebounding then probably. Bad idea. Bad idea. Cobble, good to see you, man. You been off for a couple of days? Oh, damn, you all right? All right, well, uh, Florida biggest keys are going to be one, we can't go in there and turn the ball over. Uh, they turn teams over on 24% of their possessions, uh, which is which is going to be a huge deal, uh, particularly without X. I thought, uh, you know, Gaines and Justice had good practice today, so hopefully we can carry that over uh, to tomorrow. Um, we're going to have to rebound the ball. Uh, they're top 25 in the country in offensive rebounding, so we have to do a good job on the glass. And then uh, we're certainly going to have to guard them without fouling them. Castleton gets fouled on over 60% of his possessions. Um, so we've got to do a good job of keeping him off the offensive glass and where he gets put backs and gets fouled. We got in a lot of foul trouble there uh, last year. Castleton really, really hurt us, and he's a very good player, and, and Appleby's a good player. Myron Jones is a kid we recruited, very good shooter. Uh, McKissick brings some toughness, some shooting, some driving ability. Fleming, kind of like us in the sense that Fleming's their second-leading scorer, transfer from Charleston Southern, two-time uh, defensive player of the year in the Big South, and they bring him off the bench. Um, and so uh, Deruji's a kid who's really hurt us, dating back to when he was at Louisiana Tech. C.J. Felder's a um, player I've known for a long time. He's from South Carolina and uh, was at Boston College. So, um, you know, they've got uh, got a good uh, got a good group, tough group. You know, they didn't play great against Alabama. They were coming off the COVID pause. I thought they played really well at Auburn. They played Auburn much better than we played Auburn. Um, it was the final score wasn't indicative of how, how good a game it was. Um, I thought they, they, they played really well. They played with great toughness. They played with great poise in a tough environment. So it'll be a very difficult game for us um, in Gainesville tomorrow. Your first true road game, you shot 28.6%. It's gotten better the last two games. What what went into the last couple of games? What did well, we'll see if we can do it again on the road. I mean, we took better shots. We, we took better shots. You take better shots, you get a better chance of them going in. So we'll, uh, we'll see if we can carry that over to tomorrow. I mean, maybe we got to play with better poise if that's the case. You said Xavier's going to be out. Um, yes. <clears throat> Justin, Justice, I'm assuming, is going to get those minutes like you alluded to. What were you looking at? What are you looking out of him for? What are Justice? You yeah. I mean, Justice, is a he's a really, really good player. And I mean, he should be a high school senior right now. Uh, but he's a talented, talented player. And he plays, you know, he plays at great pace. He's got tremendous, tremendous pace. What does he have on the season? Like one turnover in about 30 minutes. Uh, one or two turnovers in 30 minutes. I mean, he just he, uh, you know, he's very smooth with the ball. He doesn't get rattled. He's a great shooter. He's a very, very good shooter. He'll be able to shoot off ball screens. He can make some. He can make some, um, some challenge shots. Um, so I mean, we, we we expect him to step in and and, and play well. We brought him here because he's a really good player. We brought him here because we believe in him. And uh, you know, we wouldn't have played him at Auburn if we didn't think he was he was ready to go. And he he was certainly ready to go, and he's learned from learned from that, and I think he'll be even better um, tomorrow night. So we have a lot of confidence in him. What is it about I guess playing in Gainesville that gives LSU problems? They've lost I think ten or last thirteen dating back to when Brady was coaching. What is it about that place? Oh, I mean, well, shoot, they've got good teams. <laughs> I mean, probably most of the time we've gone on there with not the better team. Um, I mean, you know, when Donovan was there, I mean, they've had and, and Coach White's had some really good teams. I mean, they've they've had. They've had really good. They've had really, really good, good teams. It's a great atmosphere. Uh, students get into it. The rowdy reptiles there. So it's. I mean, it's a great atmosphere. They got great teams. They got really good players. They got great coaching. So, um, any, any, any place is, is is tough to win. I know this is right up your alley, but two emotional wins last week. How much have you stressed staying focused and heading into a tough, tough road environment? Yeah, I mean, we've talked about uh, we've talked about that. We've talked about. I mean, we've yet to play a complete game. We didn't play a complete game against Tennessee. We had the laps there, and so you know, it's going to take a complete game uh, for us to win on the road. And we haven't uh, we we haven't been able to 
uh, we haven't been able to accomplish that yet. And so that's that's uh, that's at the top of the list of what we want to try to try to get done in Gainesville is is play a complete game, beginning, middle, end. You know, start the game well, finish the first half well, start the second half well, get the thing to a six-minute game, do what we do in a six-minute game. You know, we haven't been able to do that. We haven't done that in a game in a long, long time. And so we've got to we've we've got to focus in on that and 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 get better in those areas. Obviously, Castleton's a guy who poses a lot of problems. Just how big of a game you think? is going to be for Efton? Um, obviously, coming off a game where you just struggled with foul trouble and that kind of stuff. Yeah, I mean, he's just, he's also he's the second leading rebounder in the league to to Shibwe, um at at uh, at, uh, at Kentucky. So I mean, he, he's a he's a he's a monster. He's he he does a great job. Uh, wedging himself around the basket for offensive rebounds. He's got great skill. Um, they're going to try to take advantage of him versus our switching. Um, you know, they, they 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 posted him first play of the game last year on Cam uh, to take advantage of our switching. And so uh, we've got to be aware of that and ready for that. And, you know, we've got to do the best we can to limit limit him to one shot, limit him to one shot, and, and guard him without fouling him. I mean, he leads them in free throws uh, by a wide margin. Um, he's 14th in the country in free throw rate. Uh, Cam led the country in that last year, and he's 14th in the country in free throw rate. So um, he does a tremendous job of of drawing fouls, and we've got to we've got to guard him without fouling him. We got to uh, make sure that uh, we make it make it difficult for him to to get the ball. And that's not just on the guys guarding him. We got to have great ball pressure. Uh, we got to force you know try to force their catches out. There's a lot of there's a lot of um, complexities that go into making it tough to get the ball in the post. I heard you on your radio show last week talk about turnovers and you you're know, the only one listening probably I love but we appreciate that uh the uh the turnovers you're a little bit more lenient with this year's team um obviously defending without fouling is something that this team is working on right now just curious are you is it team to team do you have a general philosophy like you did with turnovers where you i know well, you say you like so play. here's the thing so like our offense, it was really good last year. We were, what, top five in the country, top three in the country. But we didn't play all that fast. We were just extremely efficient. We, 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 our tempo was, like, in the 80s. Like, we weren't we, – radio show, Chris Blair loves tempo, right? So we were, we, were, we were, like, in the 80s in tempo. So when you're at that, when you're at that level, you can't turn the ball. You know, there's just not going to be as many turnovers. There's not as many possessions. There's not as much stuff going on. This year, when, you know, we're playing faster, we're in the, in the 30s in terms of our pace, um, you know, there's just going to be more mistakes. When you're playing faster, there's more mistakes. That's just all there is to it. Now, you can, you can, you can um, overcome those mistakes because there's more possessions, there's more things going on. So, yeah, I've always liked my teams to keep it around 10 turnovers. Um, this team I've kind of given up to 12. Six and a half is not, not a bad number for us. Our problem isn't the turnovers. It's the type of turnovers we have. We have way too – of – of our 16 turnovers, we're having four to six of them are live ball turnovers that we can't defend. Like last year, if we had a live ball turnover, team was probably going to lay it in on us anyway. So what was the difference? We might as well just we might as well have tried to score or thread a pass or do something like that to score because if even if we got to get back and set our defense, they were probably going to score on us. Well, this is different. We can't have those – we can't have those live ball turnovers because we need to be able to get back and set our defense because our defense is, is solid. You already talked about not having X, but how much does the offense change without him and having Eric and Justice run the, the unit for you? Well, I mean, we're going to do what we do. I mean, we, we, we're we not changing our plays or changing anything that we do. Like I said, those guys those guys are here for a reason. They're really good players. Uh, they, diff they definitely bring some different um, – aspects to the table they bring some different strengths to the table we're going to play to those strengths I watched film with them yesterday for a while we're going to watch a bunch of film tonight in Gainesville the three of us uh, we're going to go through the plays I'm going to make sure that some of the stuff that they don't feel comfortable with I'll scratch uh, tonight that they don't feel comfortable running we're going to go through my play card and um, we'll, we'll scratch what they don't like um, so you know we're going to have to you know we'll probably have a smaller smaller set of stuff to you know stuff that we're going to run but we just got to run it really really well I mean we've, we've got a bunch in right now we put in three new sets you know we got a bunch of stuff in and then I'll see what they feel comfortable with what they don't feel comfortable with and if they don't feel comfortable with it we ain't running it right and you you spoken before about you know Eric Gaines uh I guess electricity with the ball just you know turnover problems can happen from time to time have there been any conversations about just being yeah I mean I talked to him yesterday we went through everything I thought those two were really really good today in practice now that's got to carry over to tomorrow but they, they were solid they did a good job playing out of the ice they did a good job playing out of the traps 
Um, they did a really, really nice job of that. And so hopefully that'll carry over to tomorrow in a, in a hostile environment. Right. And just lastly, that was the first, you know, true road test in SEC play at Auburn. How much do you think that can factor into going to Florida? Well, hopefully we learn some lessons from it because if we do the same thing we did at Auburn, it's going to be lights out in, uh, in Gainesville pretty quick. So uh, hopefully we learn some lessons and have a little bit more, uh, have a little bit more composure and um, play with a little bit more poise, play with a little bit more discipline, and we continue to play extremely hard. Appreciate the answer on turnovers. My question was about the defense, though. <clears throat> Do you have a little bit more leniency with your defense because you are more aggressive and might be able to? Um, it's a two-part question. Wasn't yeah, it? The well, first part sure. was about that. The first part was setting the stage for the actual question. Yes. Um, no, I mean. Do you, you're going to be aggressive on defense, and that's going to lead to fouls. Or, and you've already said you're not afraid well, to play with Well, the fouls – so, yeah, we ran the foul count up pretty good the other night. Um, but, like, what we can't have is, like, Brandon Murray's foul 93 feet from the basket where he's reaching in on a on – a, like, that's a that's a that's that's not a – that's not a great foul for us. That's where you really run the foul count up is when you do some things – like that, um, you know, we miss some checkouts and Wani shoves the guy in the back. That's an obvious call. Uh, we have three on one to get the rebound and Day shoves the guy. You know, those are the ones that we have to cut back. That's what adds up to, you know, 14 to seven in the first half and them shooting a ton of, you know, 37 free throws and us shooting whatever we shot. So, um, you know, that's those are the ones that are needless, that are just overly aggressive and not necessary. And, and we actually went through that in film uh, on Monday uh, with the guys, um, some of the individual film we do with them, and then some of the team film as well. But those are the ones that we've got to, we've got to, we've got to chop those out because, like you, like you said, we're going to naturally have fouls with as aggressive as we are defensively. We're trapping the post, we trap in the full court. I mean, you're going to foul a little bit when you do that. It's all right; they can't call them all. Um, so you're, you know, you're going to foul a little bit when that happens, but. We've got we've got to cut out on the needless, uh, on the needless the needless fouls that that are don't impact the game and don't really, you know don't we don't really get anything out of them. You call that silly fouls or something else? That's not my real. Just question. call them unnecessary fouls, unnecessary risks. I thought you might have a colorful word for it. Huh? I thought you might have a colorful word for it. No, I don't. Um. You mentioned last night, Justice, you cross-trained him a little bit when he got back. Um, what did he play mostly in high school? What, uh, play point. Play point for his AAU team. He's played point in high school. I mean, he's a, he's a point. He can play, he's a combo guard. He can play the one. He can play the two. Um, and, he's, you know, he's going to play both. He's going to back up Murray tomorrow night at the two. Now, Murray will play 30, 32 minutes at the two, barring uh, no foul trouble. Um, but uh, – the biggest issue with our foul trouble cobbles are middle drives. We're giving up way too many middle drives. We gave up eight middle drives that led to fouls in the last game, which are killers. Um, that's what we went over in the film. But Justice back him up at the two and 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 back Gaines up at the one. And so you know he's gonna he's he can play both positions. He's very very sharp, very very smart, unbelievably smart kid. He studies everything. He watches a ton of film. Um, he knows what's going on. He wants to be. He wants to be a great, great player, and he's going to be a great, great player here, sooner rather than sooner rather than later. So, um, like I said, we're, we're we're excited about him. We believe in him. Our team believes in him, and um, he'll be he'll be good out there tomorrow. How much do you feel the the excitement surrounding basketball in Louisiana right now? I know you don't listen to all the national rankings and all that, but you and and women's both in the top fifteen. How cool is it to see what's being built right now at the PMAC? It's great. I mean, um, you don't really get out very much. I got out last night for the radio show. That's about the extent of me uh, me getting out during the during, during the week. But um, you know, it's it's great for our school. It's great for our programs. Um, you know, there's probably not too many schools that have both teams in the top 15. I wouldn't think, maybe probably less than a handful. And that's what that's what you want. If you if you don't do it to be the best, what are you doing it for? And so, you know, we want to be the best um, in everything that we do. And, and there's no reason we can't be. I think a lot of times people settle too much because being mediocre and being okay is easy. Um, and so, you know, we want to we want to. We want to keep it um, keep it moving. So it's not like this is some you know grand accomplishment. There's a lot more. There's a lot more uh, that we can do. We can get a lot better. Um, but it's certainly certainly a credit to our players. We're unranked in the preseason, and now we've we've moved we've moved up. But 
everybody likes a winner. So if you win, everybody likes that. So there's obviously excitement when you win. If they're wearing purple and gold and they're keeping score, our people care if you win. And they'll support you if you do. I was going to say there's support for you when you win. Um, Two questions. Could you give us just an update on how Xavier is responding to treatment? And then um, you were talking about the middle drives. Is that what is that what is catching Efton in trouble? Yeah, Efton, you know, part of Efton, I feel so bad for him, man. He, he uh, you know, one or two of his fouls a game are really not his fault. He's cleaning up somebody else's junk. Somebody else is messed up, and, and you don't see that. To let, you know, the, 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 somebody else, he's cleaning up somebody else's mistake. And he has to – he almost has to foul. And, and it's, it's just – it's – I feel bad for him. And, and we're going to get better. I, he's really close to playing really, really well. He's really, really close. He's right there. He ain't far away at all. Like, he, he's, he's right there. And so, he'll be good. And X is doing great. I mean, he was up moving around today. Um, you know, I, I think, obviously, we're, we're going to hold him out for, for, for tomorrow. He's not going to play tomorrow. He couldn't play tomorrow. But, I mean, there's a – there's a shot he could play Saturday. Um, there's a good shot he could play Saturday, um, depending on how how he continues to 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 respond. And then we'll, you know, like I said, but we're not going to rush him back. Like I want to be hundred percent sure. You know, it's it's there. I want to make sure that he's comfortable. He's comfortable in the brace. We got to get him running a little bit. He's walking and moving around well. He's, he's he doesn't have the limp anymore. Uh, he has no swelling. Uh, he's been getting treatment three and four times a day. Um, he went home with the machine last night and had his knee hooked up at home. Um, so, I mean, he's he's doing everything he can. And he was over in his chair coaching everybody today. So um, he's doing everything he can to get back as soon as possible. But we're not going to rush him back. I mean, we've got to – look, we dodged a major, 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 major issue here. And, um, you know, we need to make sure that, 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 that nothing reoccurs. Understand from your radio We're going to set a new world record for longest press conference. For, uh, from your radio show last night, the uh, I can't get this over with. Water, Everybody's got more questions. The, the, the water temperature has advanced to lukewarm. If you go in the top ten, will it get hot? We got lukewarm water now. But if you go to the, get to the lukewarm top 10, water, well, if you get to the top ten, you think it'll get hot? By five thirty yesterday afternoon or six thirty last night, we had lukewarm water. It was cold all day. We had lukewarm water by six thirty yesterday afternoon. That's progress. We're making progress. The roof is still – luckily we hadn't had any rain. Luckily we hadn't had any rain. But I appreciate y'all getting the water warmed up. That was much appreciated, y'all being able to accomplish that accomplish that, uh, accomplish that, that for us. Much appreciated. Anybody else? No, no, no. He he couldn't play. I mean, I mean, I he could. I, I don't think he could play. All right, we good.